Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tenny Como. Nope. I'm still on the Naknek River in southwest Alaska. It is uh, going to do one cast. Uh, mosquitoes don't eat me up. Uh, today is the 9th of June. This is Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, Wednesday. And I've just left Naknek River Camp. I'm in uh, I'm in a big Willie boat with a 90 horse Evander jet. And um, this is the third day I've gotten to go out and go fishing. Now we're leaving. I'm leaving tomorrow, so this is my last little trip out. And I'm just going to fish around here at camp. I'm going to throw my jigs and see what happens. Um, no wind today, so and that's awesome as far as uh, maneuvering the boat. But it's not so awesome because there's bugs, white socks, and mosquitoes. And but heck, I'm in Alaska fishing, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, top water action going on uh, this morning. It's pretty quiet. The, um, the baby salmon are what we call smolt, or what they call smolt, migrate out of the lake. And uh, I was told yesterday, it's the first time I've, I've heard this, that uh, a lot of the smolt are in the river still and will migrate to the lake, the real small ones. So we got both bait fish coming out of the lake going downstream and we've got bait fish going upstream. So they tend to stay close to the surface and the rainbows sitting around the big boulder piles will come up and ambush them. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of rainbows in the river right now, that's my opinion. Um, Everybody had pretty much the same luck yesterday as being opening day of the river. Uh, it's closed, not sure what day it closes, sometime in March or April, and it's closed till the 8th of June to allow the big rainbows uh, in the river to spawn without being uh, messed with by the fishermen. But uh, today is the second day and uh, we're going to fish um, just fish this area right here for now. There's a couple of guys up up at the upper spot, so I don't want to bother them. So all I'm going to do is just boat up above this uh, reef, call it a reef, it's a big boulder pile, and uh, just kind of drift down through it and throw throw some jigs. I've got a black eighth ounce, black and purple eighth ounce that I'm going to throw first. They do have lamprey and sculpins and leeches in this river. So the sculpin and the uh, black work just about as good or really even better I think than the, uh, than the white. But everybody's been catching fish the last couple of days. Um, a few big fish, had a couple of 30 inch rainbows caught yesterday and a few more in the 20s, but a, quite a few fish under 20. I don't have a real good place for my camera to be mounted on this boat, so hopefully you're going to get a decent view. No trolling motor, so let's see. So I'm just gonna throw an eighth ounce jig. I've got four pound line. Just kind of work it off the bottom. The water is about 10, 12 foot deep right here. Life jacket pulls the hairs of my. Ugh, I don't like these rods. I 
I'm using a Temple Fork uh, three-piece spinning rod, and they've got a great big. Um, there's one right there. First cast. It's just a little rainbow. These things fight like crazy. That would be almost a stalker size rainbow. Look how pretty they are. They're just silver. Silvers can be. These are natural, natural rainbows. Nothing is stocked. Nothing is stocked in this river. Oh man, the mosquitoes, I should have got some off. They bite me right on top of the head. Oh, these rods drive me nuts. Oh, we just had another one. Huh. Cool. Oh, man. Did the rod go down on that one. It's a good start. Two casts, three bites, one fish. About 95% of the people who fish here fly fish. I'm one of the oddballs that throw something besides this fly rod and flies. My jigs work really, really good. These white socks will not leave you alone. Fortunately, they don't bite you very much. They, if they do, they, they'll get up under your sleeves or even my headband. And once they're pinched or trapped, they will bite you. And they actually take a chunk out of you. And their saliva will cause irritation and itching for about three days. And they are horrible. Oh, Steve got me on the head again. I might have to go in for some off. I don't think about getting that stuff. I don't think I'm getting down far enough. I need to be bumping bottom occasionally. Just like Tane Como sometimes. The rivers up here, the outfitters are going to be really super busy this year because a lot of people missed last year because of COVID. So they've already seen a big uptick in reservations. And uh, I didn't go down that far in the river, but they said it was pretty crowded for being this early in the season. Of course, they get a lot busier once the salmon start coming in the last of June.
Felt the bottom all the way across there, but didn't get any bites. One more cast, and I'm going to go back up. Oh my gosh, that's twice they've just about pulled it out of my hand. Here again, he's still after it. There, I got him. God. Oh, I came off. Ah. Oh man, that was a little bear fish. Not huge, but pretty big. There, hit it on the drop. He's not very big. Another one about the same size as the first one, maybe even a little smaller. I honestly don't catch a lot of small rainbows like this normally. I think that's just another indication that That there's not a lot of big rainbows in here. They, I've always, I've been told that when you see a lot of small rainbows, the big rainbows are not here because the big rainbows will eat the little rainbows. A big rainbow here is 30 inches or bigger. Like I said, we had two yesterday that. We're over 30. I had a 26 and a 25. Didn't take any pictures or any video of the, those two. Well, this is pretty cool. I don't usually drift down this far. Maybe they're all small down here. Hey, they're fish. <clears throat> it's like Kenny Como fish. A little bigger. Bound to be bigger fish down here. Long and skinny. I bet you he's 18. They, uh, they're pretty skinny this time of year, and then they'll, of course, when the, when the rainbows, or when the salmon start dropping eggs, they really, really beef up, and that's, that's not until August, August, September. It is catch and release on all these rainbows. You can't keep any. They are considered a trophy fish for this uh, this river system. 
and that's understandable. People come from all over the world to fish for these rainbows. It's as far as and they're not steelhead. They're not considered steelhead because they don't go out to a lake and come back in. Although they do uh, go up to the lake up here and spend time there. Some of most of them do. But they are considered rainbows and not steelhead. So I'm pretty much just drifting this. Of course, any kind of leech or lamprey in the river is going to be just drifting down. So. I'm going to make one more cast, then I'm going to go back up. Probably change colors. Just for the fun of it. Try sculpting. There are Dolly Varden and Grayling in this river also. Uh, we'll catch a, occasionally we'll catch a Dolly um, doing this. But most of the time you're gonna catch those in the pockets in the slower water um, and you'll catch them on dry flies. Elk or caddis are one of the favorite flies here. Yeah, I think we're just, we've moved out of the boulder field and out of the fish, so we're going to go back up and we, I'm going to go back up and we're going to try something else. Come on, eat it, the little one. <laughs> He's just pecking at it like a bluegill. Oh, I'm glad we don't have boats like this in Missouri. A little bigger. I think this isn't the longest fish, but it's probably the biggest, broadest fish I've caught so far. About 19, maybe.
Looking them further and further down. rainbows have teeth. You know, really shouldn't thumb them. Turn them over and flip them off. I've got some, I've got some graded fingers already. Grip. I've got a cheese grater over them. A little bigger. There we go. Uh, I think I finally have one that can vary by a little bit. It's nettable. Super huge, but I'd say it's about 23, 24 inches. And the hook pulled out. It's the first one that I would be proud to uh, hold up and show you guys. Whatever. Alaska rainbow kind of looks like. Ah. Proves that they're out here.
not quite as big as the one I just lost, but it's a good fish. Gotta be getting tired, buddy. Aren't you? Oh, you missed the net. Do not get up against that boat, please. He sees the net. bugs hmm they get under the bill and they'll bite you let's say he's a little wore out I'll let you beat the judge how tall he is no holding it out, straight across. Probably 21, 22, 21. I don't think he's 22. But a nice size bodied fish. A great fight. That was a lot of fun. Same place though.
So my other GoPro just ran out of battery as soon as I netted this fish. So I'm going to hook onto something and show you this rainbow I just caught.